What's going on guys? So I'm going to be making the July challenge video. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet to give you guys everything you need to get started so you understand exactly what to do. All right. So what I'm going to do here just to sum it up is kind of give you guys resources to go through videos, educational content. I'm also going to go through the trade plan, how to set up your plan, how to structure your plan. I'm also going to give you tools that will help you with your risk management. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to do is give you live examples of different trades, how to set up your trades properly, and how to follow your rules, your rules and risk management that you created yourself and how to create it yourself. Okay? So, first things first is let's go to the lit trade house. If you're not in the lit trade house, then you need to be. All right. So, obviously there's a lot of people posting in it. It's over like 19,000 members at this time of the video. But what you need to focus on is the units tab. Okay. Once you click the units tab and you go to unit 10. All right. Which I'm doing with you right here. You'll see the Fibonacci masterclass. You'll see the market structure class. You'll see the power of 20 pips. The 10 trading commandments. You'll see the sniper entry by coach max you'll see the intro to forex with coach max you'll see a lot of different things um a lot of educational videos that you can go through in this course in this challenge for the month of july okay so what i need you to do is make sure to go through all of that and then I need you to make sure that you go to Coach Max's YouTube. Obviously, she has the six-figure mindset right here. Um, also has mine as well, too, on my YouTube. Okay. So we both have our YouTubes with the six-figure mindset psychology. We'll both be posting more stuff all right, this upcoming month for you guys as far as like trading content, extra things to aid you. All right. So this is actually a really core class it's a two hour class it's just the mindset all right so if you haven't seen that definitely 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 go see that the next thing you could do is go to uh formula so if you only have 200 300 dollars then what you need to do is literally stick with that and stick with three percent risk per trade okay 3% risk, 4% risk, 5% risk. It doesn't really matter. All right. As long as you just figure out the risk that you want. Okay. So that's going to be our kind of guideline is anywhere from 2 to 5%. But a good happy medium is like 3. Okay. Per trade. It's a very good happy medium. A very sustainable manageable risk, risk per trade. Okay. So again, we're doing this for 30 days. It could obviously go into 40, 50, 60 days. Right, but we're just going to stick to this 30 days and see what happens. Obviously, you can't include weekends because Forex isn't open on the weekends. So we're just going to take this example, right? And you have $200 to start with, 3% risk per trade, and you're making 3% a day. Okay, just saying you're doing one trade a day with a one-to-one -one risk, risk reward. And then you would make a whopping $285. Now, a lot of you guys aren't jumping for joy and a lot of you aren't about to quit your jobs or submit your resignation and now commit to trading full time off of $300 net profit a month. It's not going to happen. But what I want to do is show you that that's only with one trade a day. You have to remember we're doing New York, London and Asia. That's three sessions a day. OK, so you have to remember that a lot of times you might get in one solid. All you need is one solid trade a session. OK, you don't even need two or three. You just need one. OK, so let's just say you get in two good trades. All right. Two good trades or three good trades a day. What can you accomplish? And this is a one to one risk reward. So meaning you're risking three percent to make three percent. All right. Or you're risking three percent to make six percent. you like literally. All right. If you take our five percent rule. OK. And we say maybe you get two good trades a day. Right. And that's 10 percent a day because you're in two trades at five percent risk let's say one good trade a session which again guys sometimes we have multiple session now what would the calculate calculations be at two hundred dollars well you took two hundred dollars to literally thirty two hundred that's pretty nice okay now we're talking right 
literally with just 10% a day. All right. And obviously you're going to see, right, that you're only making $20 the first day, $22, $24 the next day, $26. And granted, guys, you have to remember, this is just a guideline to go by. This is just a roadmap to follow. You're going to obviously have losing days. You're obviously going to have losing trades. Okay. So you're going to be set back. So if you go and you build your account from 220 all the way to 428 and then you lose 20 30 dollars okay then then what all right then what it's like you just reset yourself okay well if you lose a couple bucks then you go back to 389 dollars or you go to 354 dollars it's very very simple okay so that's all you got to do if you get knocked back, you reevaluate the spreadsheet and just continue from where you started. So let's say you take go from 220 and then you build all the way up to 600 and then you take a couple losses. You go to back to 518. Well, then you take 5% of that 518 or 3%, 4%, whatever your risk is, and then start to rebuild it from there. You don't go from the same percentage that you were doing 690 and maybe you go down to 500 and and use the same risk that you were doing here where you're risking 32 or 62 um, dollars for two trades right which each have five percent risk which would be 31 dollars you're not going to do that if your account is all the way at 500 now when you're at 600 okay so you always have to adjust your risk according to your account size whether that goes up whether that goes down you're always adjusting your risk to your principal balance Okay, please note that. So if you start with 200, you go to 300, now you do 3%, 4% of that, of the 300. If you go down a little bit, now you do 2, 3, 4% of that. Okay, and then as it goes up, you just continue with the same risk management. Now you just have to figure out what you want to do, whether it's 2%, 3%, 4%, or 5%. It's really up to you. You just have to make sure that you're okay with the risk that you're putting on. And you have to understand each trade and just be confident in each trade that you're taking. And more importantly, be able to um, get out of that trade if it's a bad trade and literally uh, cut your stop losses pretty, pretty tight. Um, as far as like if it's 5%, then, you know, once it's 5%, you're out. You don't care, you know, if it's going to reverse or whatever, it's going to go in your direction. You have to be disciplined enough to say, OK, it hit my 5% or 4%. I'm out. You know, I'll look for another entry. You're not going to risk more than three, four, five percent of your account at any point in time. And this comes with extreme discipline. And so this is something you guys have to get accustomed to. If you're not disciplined, then you need to learn this. And it's going to take some time. It's not going to be easy. But I will tell you by having a roadmap, by having just a guideline to go by, it will save you. So if you have nothing and you're just like, oh, I'll just risk this. I'll just risk this here and there. I'll risk that here. It's, you're going to lose, okay? But when you have a roadmap as far as a daily compound spreadsheet, and you're like, okay, this is my goal for the day. It's $32. Did I hit my goal for the day? Yes. Okay, boom. It makes you not greedy, okay? It makes you not greedy when you have a $354 account, and maybe you're up by 60 bucks, and you know the market can give you more, and you're like, dag, like, I can hit 80 bucks, 100 bucks today. But my goal for the day was already met, then guess what? You see that you're like, okay, let me not be greedy. Let me at least secure half my profits. Let me secure 30, 40, 50 bucks out of this to make sure that I ensure to make my goal for the day. And that's all it is, guys. It's not that you can't make more money than this, but at least guarantee that you make this, okay? Whatever your goal is. So the good explanation that I like to show you guys is this right here. Let's say we were doing 5% risk per trade, which is pretty aggressive, but still very doable. OK, and let's say that you get in two to three good trades a day, which is very possible given your three sessions, New York, Asian, London. OK, and let's say that you have good risk rewards on all those. And let's say you're netting a good 15 percent a day because you, that can either be three different trades of five percent each or it could be maybe two trades or maybe one trade that has a really, really good risk reward a one to two, one to three. Right. So you can. A lot of times, maybe get a one to three risk reward where you're risking 5%, 4%, and you're trying to net 15%, 12% on that trade. So we do that, 
every day. We calculate that and your $200 goes to five figures in literally 30 days, 30 trading days. I know it seems crazy. It seems outlandish, but it is completely possible. It is completely possible. You just have to understand and have the discipline to start small and to always have that goal and to literally have your stop loss at break even when that goal is achieved. So let's say you're up again using the same example you're up for your account is at 462 bucks and you're up a hundred dollars then immediately put your stop loss at sixty dollars so that if the market goes against you you at least secure your sixty dollars for the day does that make sense so you're always at least securing your basically your your percentage for the day even if the market's going to give you more and that's how you protect the greediness that most traders have is like when you have a when you have a spreadsheet like this when you have a goal a daily task you become way way more organized even for myself guys like i have to use this to become more because there's a lot of times when i just want more of the market and i say to myself dag i hit my goal so what am i crying about like why do why am i trying to be greedy and get more and then i'll just slowly move my stop loss into break even or in profit and and secure basically a lot of my positions i'll do partials all that type of stuff okay so here is the spreadsheet guys all right so i will post this in this in the description obviously of this video so make sure you're using this daily compound interest calculator to basically create your plan all right you know what you're going to start with and be realistic with yourself don't say a thousand if you're not going to put a thousand okay if you're starting with 50 100 200 300 400 Figure out what you're starting with. Figure out what your risk is, anywhere from 2 to 5%. Okay, then figure out the term of days you want to do this. Well, it can even be 60, okay? You, it doesn't have to be 30, but we're just using this as an example, as an experiment for you guys to do 30 days. All right, you want 100% reinvest. Um, obviously, they include weekends, you want to put no, and figure out what exactly your goals are and how to achieve that. And you can simply do that just by trial and error and figure out what percentage is, how long of a day you how long and of terms of days you would need to accomplish this because anything is possible in 30 to 90, 90 days of consistent compounding seriously okay but it's just hard to be that, that disciplined but it's way easier once you have a roadmap so this is the second thing you need to do the first thing you need to do again is go through the education stuff in the lit trade house right um where you can go through myself or max's youtube with the mindset right uh the mindset training uh the third thing is go to or the second thing is go to the compound daily spreadsheet and create your plan figure out what works for you because not everyone's going to start with 100 or or 200 or 300 not everyone's going to do two percent risk some people are going to do three some people are going to do four some people are gonna do five but don't do more than five i urge you not to do more than five because for instance if you take three losses in a row maybe you're down 15 percent of your account so you go from a hundred dollars to 85 dollars or you go from a thousand dollars to 850 dollars okay now some people say whoa that's a big hit some people say oh i can manage that okay can, but what you need to realize is can you manage five hits in a row that's what i would say so can you if you take five losses in a row on five percent which is 25 percent of your account probably a little bit more after compounding right let's just say 25 percent would you be okay with that so let's say you have a thousand dollars you take five hits five losing trades back to back to back to back now you're at 750 dollars are you okay with that you need to ask yourself that to me that's how you'll figure out if your risk is too high or too low if you can take five hits back to back to back right um and be okay with the risk then you're okay all right so if you want to do 10 percent and you take five hits back to back to back that's 50 percent of your account gone are you are you okay with that well obviously you be um <laughs> you have the last say of if that's okay with you or not depending on your risk okay but my point is is that if you take three percent three percent risk per trade and you have five percent or five losses in a row that's 15 percent are you okay with that so as long as you're okay with i would say five 
negative trades in a row on the risk that you want it to be that's how you figure out what what you're comfortable with whether it's two percent one percent three percent four percent five percent okay so that's a good rule of thumb just to kind of figure out your own risk whether it's gonna be two percent three percent four percent five percent okay basically just times that by five and figure out if that is a good enough risk for you to take if you take five losses in a row which will not happen but still you have to be comfortable with taking five losses in a row because the market is unpredictable right and nothing is 100 percent guaranteed there are times where you're going to lose and sometimes lose in a row not saying that's going to happen but you always have to be prepared for that like it or not and this is what comes with risk management is that you're always prepared for the risk and you know what's going to happen and now you can allocate um other ideas and other trade philosophies to counteract that as far as like you know doing one to two one to three risk to rewards or um minimizing your risk to the market maybe not doing full five percent maybe you want to do three percent maybe you want to do four percent maybe you want to do 2.5 percent risk per trade whatever you want to do right maybe you want to do one percent but take multiple trades maybe take three four trades a day but maybe at one percent very doable as well just to figure out what you want to do okay so i'm gonna stop rambling about uh creating your plan but just know it is very very important so this is step one okay now with that what you need to do is go to baby pips position size calculator which this is my favorite online one okay where you can literally type in we'll use the same example two hundred dollars and we're going to say you know uh three percent per trade let's say 20 pips is the stop loss and then you calculate and it's going to show you okay very simple it's going to show you need 0 0.03 standard lots okay very simple let's take an example of uh 250 okay let's say 250 at five percent per trade and we have um we'll use the same 20 pip stop loss let's just say your usd okay calculate your standard loss size should be 0 0.06. Okay, so this is a quick little tool if you don't understand or you can't calculate the stop loss into position sizes. All right, but there's another one as well called my FX book for position size calculator. Same thing. Baby Piss is my favorite one. It's very simple, very basic, right? Gets to the point, gets the job done. That's why I like it. But you, if you like my FX book, then here you go. Account size. Let's say a thousand okay let's say three percent stop loss let's say 50 pips your usd calculate and then position lot size is going to be 0 0.06 okay very simple all right because 0 0.06 at 50 pips is going to be 30 dollars and 30 dollars is three percent of 1000 does that make sense you guys can always rewind this if you need more clarification if I'm going a little too fast. So between these two tools and also another tool that we're going to give you as far as an app, um, a phone app, if you want to do it off your phone, we can, I'll provide all the info in the description for that. So between this, these two sites, the app on your phone that you can use, which is very, which is exactly identical to baby tip, baby pips, position size calculator. Very, very identical. Okay. Now, the last thing you need to do is realize, okay, I have the trade education. I have my plan set up. All right, I have the tools to set up my plans as far as knowing my risk per trade, what I want to do. Now, the last thing you need to do is figure out how to actually use it in real time. <laughs> and I think a lot of you struggle with that for the most part. So let me refresh my charts here because for some reason they don't want to pop up. And if you guys want to follow me on TradingView, you can on Ryan Grinds for my ideas. But let's go to Australian dollar. Okay. And let me show you exactly what we're going to do here. So... I'm gonna give you guys an example. All right, so this is a real life example because in a lot of 
New York sessions, I'd say things exactly like this. Okay, I'll say AUSD guys, we're buying right here. Okay, and from our stop loss, let's say it would be like right here. Okay, so from there to here is about 20 pips. <clears throat> let's just say. Okay, let's just say 20 pips. Okay, but we're targeting from here to here, let's just say 35 pips. We're not even going to say the full 50. Let's just say 37. Okay, 37. Okay, so the risk to reward on this trade from here to here, from here to here is almost a 1.2. almost a 1.2 okay so what we need to do is now realize what our count size is what our lot size will be everything like that so the first thing you need to know is with every trade the first thing you need is not to take profit it's the stop loss what is the stop loss all right with every trade what what price point is it or how many pips is it from your entry Okay, if I tell you that AUD USD is a 20 pip stop loss, you should be able to calculate that in your account and say, okay, I know I'm risking 20 pips with my 2%, 3%, 4% trade, whatever it is, and automatically know the lot size that you should be using. Okay, because honestly, the take profit doesn't matter as long as it's above a one to one. We could get more, we could get less, but you always want to calculate based off the stop loss. So again, let's use this prime example. I, I say buy here, 20 pip stop loss. Okay, the first thing if you don't, if you can't calculate that in your head already, <clears throat> you go to baby pips. Let's say you're starting with a $200 account. Okay, risk, let's say you're doing 4%. 20 pip stop loss, calculate. You should be using a 0 0.04 standard lap. A 0 0.04 on this trade. Okay, does that make sense, guys? very simple okay that's why i tell you guys um stop a amount of pips not like the little the number i tell you guys it's about maybe 20 pips 18 pips whatever I'll, I'll round it up round it down to make it easy for you guys i'll say hey guys we're risking 10 pips here risking 20 pips here risking 25 here okay so that's what you need to do what you need to do is understand how to calculate your risk with every single trade because every trade is going to be different. Every single trade is going to be different. Okay. All right. So I need you guys to understand that. All right. Is that every trade will be different. 10 pips, 20 pips, 30 pips, 40 pips. Stop loss. It, it doesn't matter. As long as you have the same strict discipline and risk management for each trade. It doesn't matter if it's 20 pips stop loss trade, 50 pip stop loss trade. It should all be the same risk. It should all be you know, 2%, 3%, 4%, 5%, whatever you want to do. Okay? So, it doesn't matter, again, if it's 50 pips, 100 pips, a million pips, it should still be 2% of your account. The bigger the stop loss is, the smaller the lot size should be. Okay? So, let's take another instance. Let's take GBP USD. So what I want to tell you guys is, can you do the same exact thing for GBPUSD, right? Can we use the same, let's say we're selling here, right? And let's say we're doing the reverse now. Let's say, hey guys, we're selling here. Um, this is our stop loss. This is our take profit around this area here. Maybe to previous structure around the zone. I don't know. I'm just using this as an example, okay? Now, granted, this trade actually doesn't look as far like that far from AUDUSD, right? Maybe 20 pips. But because it's a GBP USD, we're easily risking here 30 pips instead of 20. Maybe you have to put a little higher. Let's just say 35. We're risking 35 pips here, okay? Is this trade one to one? It is a one to one. So we're risking 35 pips to make maybe 40 pips here. So even though the chart looks the same, the pips are di are different. As you guys can see, the stop loss is very different. It looks like on the on the outside looking in, the charts, the chart patterns, they all look the same. Like the price action doesn't look that bad, but if you measure it, okay, 
You can do that through trading view through the, the measurement tool right here, right? Or you can count um, the price point for every hundred that it goes to right on the right hand side. All right, so on the right hand side here, every hundred that it goes to. So we start at, we literally start right here at the 25, um, let me see, 25,200 basically. And then for every hundred it goes down, you know, every hundred it goes down, it's like 10 pips, 10 pips, another 10 pips, another 10 pips, okay? So that's kind of a quick trick that I use, okay? Is literally every two every 100 pips um, to the every 100 pips to the third or the yeah the third digit to the left right from the right hand side of the price point is basically what I'm gonna use as far as like a, a parameter of like every 10 pips every hundred right so right here is like point is 1.24800 800 and then you go up a little bit then it's you know gonna be 1.50000 that's 200 pips right because 800 plus 200 round up right is now 25,000 right the 24800 plus the 200 is going to give you the 25,000 right so that's the difference is 200 right 200 is actually equal to 20 pips I don't know, I don't know if you guys understand that but <laughs> but that's another way that I kind of use it I'll kind of try to break that down a little bit more simplistic for you guys another time. But I kind of want to get done with this video because it's actually getting really long. But the point is, okay, is that every um, every trade is going to be different. So make sure that you have your stop loss accordingly because each trade isn't going to be 10 pips. Each trade isn't going to be 25. Some trades might be 35. Some might be 40. Some might be 7 pips. So just make sure that you have your stops um, adjusted and your let me see here your risk management according to whatever the stop loss is so if I, again if we take this example or let's take a brand new example really quickly let's say that we're buying here on gpusd okay and we're gonna buy right here and let's say we're targeting this level which in this which is like support resistance at a, on you know that level and our stop loss is all the way down here so we're risking about let's say 37 pips to make 54 which I would I would do that all day long it's almost a 1 to 2 it's a great trade I like it okay so what I would do the first thing you need is what the stop loss okay so either we'll tell you the number or we'll tell you hey listen guys it's 37 pips stop loss you should know okay so what immediately what do you do if you don't know your lot size okay well if you can't figure it out yourself Go to the position size calculator, go to your $200 account, put your risk, let's say 4%. Stop loss, let's say 37 pips. Okay. And then you put calculate, boom, now you know you should be using a 0 0.02 standard lot. And we're going by standard lots, guys, here. Okay. All right. So that is how you do it in real time. All you need to know, again, is your stop loss. That's it. All you need to know is your risk per trade and your stop loss. Your risk per trade, your stop loss. Your risk per trade and stop loss. No, what are you risking? What well, what did you make in your plan? Did you make it 3% per trade, 4% per, per trade, 5% per trade? Again, in this example here, where we took 200 to 13,000, it was 5% per trade. But we were aiming to make 15% per day. Because again, there's th three sessions a day. Right? So you can still make that 15% a day off of 3% off of 4%, but I'm showing you guys the target for the day. So you just have to figure out your target for the day, whether it's, I would say anywhere from five to 20% is a really solid daily goal for you. You know, some of you guys are making 20, 30, 40% days on the regular, seriously, okay? And you guys are complaining. You guys want more. I don't know what more you want, okay? <laughs> if you make 20% on $200 a day for 30 days, this is what you'll be making forty seven thousand dollars in thirty days. It's ridiculous, okay? Absolutely ridiculous. So have some discipline, stick with it, make a plan, execute the plan. 
All right, and now you guys know exactly how to implement um, the, the calculator and the tools into the setups that we'll give you guys. So again, make sure you formulate your plan first. Start with whatever you're gonna start with, all right? Go to your daily uh, interest rate in percentage, which is basically what you wanna make a day, okay? So let's say you wanna make 10% a day. You can break that down to a plethora of ways. You can break it down to two 5% trades, maybe three three percent trades you just have to figure out what's best for you again if you take five losses in a row at your percentage risk that is a good barometer to tell you if you're comfortable okay so if you're going to do 10 percent per trade if you lose five times in a row that's 50 percent of your account are you okay with losing 50 percent of your account i'm not going to let you know it's going to be hard to recover if you do 5%, you're risking, again, 5 times 5, 75%. Actually, when you compound it, it'll probably be more like 30%. Are you willing to risk that as a loss on your account? Now, I'm not saying you can't rebuild it. Rebuilding it isn't the problem. You just have to be comfortable with the risk. Right? Some people aren't comfortable with that. Well, all right, dial it back a little bit. Okay, let's try 4%. If you lose 5 trades with four percent that's twenty percent of your account okay maybe you're not okay with that maybe like uh kind of but not really okay well let's do three percent three percent times five is fifteen percent all right so if you lose three, three if you lose five three percent risk trades that's fifteen percent of your account gone are you okay with that and a lot of people i would i would safe to assume will be like okay yeah we're fine that's not too bad if i lose five trades i'm only down fifteen percent Okay, I'll take. Well, you know, so my point is figure out what risk you want to do. All right, and then make sure you have these tools on baby pips, right? Um, that you have this marked, or you can use the MyFX book. I personally like the baby pips one the best. There is a app on the phone that you can use as well too. That's that actually replicates baby pips, which I'll send in the description below, and then also how to use it in real time, okay? As far as with real setups. With real setups, you need to know, all right, how do I apply this in real time? The first thing is formulating your plan. Second is knowing your risk. Two, three, four, five percent. Third thing is, okay, in live, and I have to know, understand and be able to use it in real time. You have to know in, you have to know in real time, okay, what's my account, what's my account size? Whether it's 300, 400, 500. Okay, what's 10 pips? If I'm risking 10 pips at my risk percentage, what, what lot size am I using? You need to know that on the back of your hand. Like you, you literally need to know that. Okay, so if you don't, then you, again, you can just reflect and, and uh, figure it out beforehand. Before you're even in the market, you should know that. Before you're even trading, you should know your risk. You should know if this is a 10, 20, 30 pip stop loss, what your lot size is gonna be. And if you don't know, well then, once you hear the trade or hear the trade setup, you can easily go to the calculator and figure it out instantly in like 15, 20 seconds. Okay. So that's going to break down everything as far as, um, as far as getting in the trades, the risk per trades. Okay. The last thing that you need to do, all right, is learn how to do partials. Okay, and how to do take profits, which is going to be a separate video because this video is already getting pretty long. <laughs> so I don't want to conjoin both of these and make it one super, super long video. So I'm going to drop another link on how to do partials. Okay, so that will be the last step as far as trading, as far as like your trade management. All right, but hopefully this cleared out a bunch of things to go over everything again. Um, you need to be part of the trade house, okay? You need to make sure that you've watched the six figure mindset mastery class from either Coach Max or myself. YouTube will drop the links, okay? You need to have the positions, the position size calculator, and also the compound daily spreadsheet, which will give you your plan, right? And then you need to know um, what you can practice just by yourself if you practice certain trades, like taking a sell, taking the buy even on demo or whatever it is, or even just back test and say, okay, if I wanted this trade at this trade, you know, at this risk reward, then what would my lot size be? 
okay you should know that if you're risking um, AUDUSD and you're risking again 22 pips let's just round it to 20 okay just for this sake of conversation you should know what your lot size should be you should know that at $200 all right if I put a 0 0.10 here I'm risking $20 you should know that okay you should know that's 10 percent of your account right there okay you should know that so if you want to risk five percent you should cut that in half and make it 0.05 you you should know that if you don't know that then you need to study the difference between your um position sizes and your lot sizes and your stop losses and even if you don't want to and you want to just i, I can't figure it out then just use the calculator if you don't want to use your brain. It's very easy. Okay, L less thought process, the better. You can just, okay, let me put in here, boom, point, point zero 0.05, point zero, whatever, and then now you have what you need. Okay, but as you get better, as you become more consistent trading, you'll realize that it becomes easy to kind of just figure out what lot sizes you need to get in for positions. Okay, so with that being said, that's kind of the end of this video. It was pretty long. I'm, I had to elaborate on a lot of different things. So sorry that it took so long. <laughs> kind of rambled a little bit, but hopefully this was beneficial for you guys. And I will drop the partials and trade management video separately. So you guys will won't have to like watch it hour hour long video on this. Okay. So yeah, again, just to radiate for the last time, the lit trade house the um, six figure mindset psychology by coach max and myself the compound daily spreadsheet to start you off the tools as far as the baby pips calculator the my Facebook calculator and then making sure that you understand how to use it in real time when when we're trading whether we're saying buying or selling giving you the, the risk to reward ratios as long as it's one to one it's a doable trade put on your risk whether it's two three four five percent risk then um, again once you have the pips as far as the stops as far as the stop loss, the pips in the, in the stop loss, whatever that is, is you want to make sure that that's your risk. All right. So take care, guys. See you later. Peace.